So I've been, you know, noticing all this stuff on social media about um, racism in Barbados and all of the different elements of what have been going on. Um, I saw the video from um, the subsequent video that caused all this from Mr. Corbin, I think his name is. And I've also saw seen this morning the video from uh, Mr. Cole and Mr. Cole, in my opinion, brought some really, really, really profound points. However, some of the things that he has said, I do not agree with and I do not think is a solution to this problem. Um, he did say some major things and I have my notes here. So just I, I wrote stuff down and I wanted to touch on those things. Um, he did say something that really struck with me and that is we are all enslaved by society and i wanted to add on social media there because um we are very very influenced by social media as a society and that shouldn't be thing because there's 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 not much individuality going on and you know i wanted to share my thoughts and opinions and yeah so let's discuss this you're free to disagree with me you're free to whatever you have that freedom we live in a free country so you have your freedom to 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 disagree with me but i just want you guys to see a different perspective i want you all to um look at the problem logically emotionally and ethically and really then judge how you really feel about it because we need to understand all these facts and these are my opinions these opinions might be slightly ignorant ignorant meaning that without without me having a lot um knowledge so with me having a lot of knowledge of all the situations that go on in Barbados, because I'm not God, I don't see all out. I am not, I don't have superpowers, so I can't see everything, any and everything that people go through. But this is just based on the stuff that I've seen myself as um, a mid-class Bajan, mid-class black Bajan, basically. So let's discuss. I think that um, us claiming oppression is has has greatly affected our society because now we as black people are oppressing other people and this is this is brought on by hate that has happened over a hundred years ago um it's been a long time since slavery has been abolished and i don't think that we should still be but hurt about it because me personally i do not feel threatened or i do not feel oppressed by any group of race or, or uh, any type of people in in the world um i do not think as of white people as more than me or less than me i do not think of asians as more or mexicans as more or less than me i do not think these people are above me i see them as people and that's my personal opinion and when we when we sit here and we see this man mr corbin airing his feelings his thoughts his opinions about something that has happened to him and then he says um a very derogatory term i by the way i don't take offense to something like that because i'm i know that i'm not that word or whatever he said um i he and he expressed it in that way from the time we say something like that that's gonna trigger people people automatically think that we are racist that we are thing but we don't actually sit here and examine why this has happened we don't sit here and think about why this has happened it's the same way how we investigate crime scenes to find out exactly what ha has happened but we don't know what this gentleman has gone through to get to the point where he says such a racial thing a racist thing it's the same way how um we as men we don't like our girlfriends to be bringing up old and past mistakes just because white people's um, ancestors enslaved us doesn't mean that they're it's their fault for that and i do not believe on a white person apologizing for something like that i do believe though in apologies for something that you did do and if you are somebody that has said something derogatory to a white person i do believe that you should apologize for that because if that was done vice versa it would have been an entire issue it would have been a whole different discussion and I do not see that as fear. I do not see that as us treating each other with equality. And 
that is that is just and i have my notes here um that is just my my thoughts about the um of of that i have personally seen some black people oppressing white people especially white women because they they're seen as sex signals even more than a black woman because you always hear and i have i have myself have said stuff like this where um i want to have a relationship for white women and and you ask why sometimes for some men the situation the the um what do you call it the answer is purely based on sexual interest and for me personally that's not it's not just sexual interest but it 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 is something for a lot of people a lot of men that are that is based on sexual interest and they don't see why that should be it and i'm sure that this gentleman mr cole he has gone through something like that people talking to his wife in a very disrespectful manner because they are interested in her sexually and that that isn't right i don't see why we are still upset about slavery when we are not being enslaved we are not actively working on plantations or picking cotton or cutting cane for the sake of and, and we're not getting paid for it each and every one of us are getting paid and there is such a a, a disparity and that's more between the difference between a man and a woman because men are paid more than women and that's another another discussion for another time so if you want to have that you know you can just uh drop a comment down there and anyways so we are a lot of people are stigmatizing white women sexually in a way because they're seen as attractive etc etc and it's their way of getting back at, at the ancestors but i'm not my ancestor the white people in barbados are not our ancestors and i think that the entire situation should be dropped it's already been dealt with series abolished over 100 years ago it should it shouldn't still be an issue that's affecting us 100 years in the future it really shouldn't be and as i said i do not feel oppressed at all not every white person is privileged and not every black person is ghetto sometimes people take a look at me and they think that I am ghetto, I belong somewhere in the hood, etc, etc, or, or in the block or whatever. But I've never smoked a day in my life. I've only had, I would say I've only had alcohol once or twice. And I generally do not drink. I don't, I just don't. And I don't believe in it. And I've never done criminal activity. I've never done it. The most I probably would have done would have been speeding. And everybody speeds let's let's be honest here so like why are we doing like this there are poor white persons as well they are people i mean i wouldn't even say poor they're they're less fortunate white persons as well it's just that the people that are, are on the forefront that are rich are white persons look at um co williams he is our less call i don't know if he likes the word uh, likes people call him cow but anyways mr williams right he is a very wealthy white bajan and he has helped our country a lot maybe at, if he wasn't around doing the business that he has we wouldn't have even roads we would probably still have cart roads or something because our government doesn't fix them nearly fast enough so who else does it mr williams and he has done so much for this country already there are also other black persons who are in situations who have been helping um barbados as well might not be on um, as as rich or as, on the forefront as um as 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 mr williams but Think about um, your, the right honorable Errol Walton Barrow. Look at what he has done for our society and what he has done. And he's a black person, not necessarily rich, not necessarily poor, but he's a black person. He was our prime minister. He set things in motion for us to be in a situation where I can go to school with at an affordable price and get education because of something that he did, what, 60, 50, 50 years ago? like and 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 why are we still like you know battling this whole issue of race because the thing is all of this happens for everybody every barbadian 
goes has to go to secondary school every barbadian has to go to primary school and that is something that he put in place he might not have had the money like mr williams he has not has had the means and the financial means and, and stuff to push things like mr williams but as a politician as a man of bringing and a man of of knowledge he put those things in place for us to have what we have now and those are just two examples of people who have helped barbados there are, i know there are many rich barbadians in barbados many rich white people in barbados sorry not barbadians what am i talking about there are many rich black and many rich white people in barbados who help out the country on the in the background who does do stuff for other people to be honest the way i see it as long as you got a blue id you belong here a blue or yellow id you belong here that honest truth because our our our, our barbadian passport you belong here if you're born here you belong here because it don't matter where, 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 where your heritage is if you're white black asian green yellow blue alien as long as you got a blue id you got citizenship or you were born here you belong here and i can accept you because you know we need different sets of people we need people in general people to to fill all many like like imagine if some people had a lot of different talents and which they do how much better our society and how much better our our industry would be if everybody brought something to the table think about how much better we can be as a society as as uh, as barbadian people based on the things and I, I think i'm rambling here but based on the things that i've already said i think that that we have subsequently started oppressing other people and because of things that we have experienced or things that have happened in the past and i do not believe that is something that should continue to go on in this country um just reading some notes here wherever there is a minority there is going to be oppression and unfortunately for stuff our our racial group in barbados is not very evenly distributed we have mostly black people in barbados if anything there are a lot of black people who are oppressing black people there are a lot of black people who are oppressing whites there are a lot of people who are oppressing people in general how many times have one of us been denied by a black employer because we had earrings in our ear our pierced ears because we had tattoos because we had um hair plat white black indian etc it doesn't matter who you are you have been uh, you have been denied even though you have the qualifications and the skill set necessary how many of you have been denied a job just because of how you look just because you had tattoos you had earrings you maybe didn't speak standard english how many times have that happened wouldn't that count as oppression as well we are we go to the job for our mannerisms we go to the job for our, our knowledge on the work that on the topic that is to be done and yet we are denied that job because of what because of a decision decide i decided to put art on my skin because i decided to plait my hair because i decided to twist my hair before i because i decided to pierce my ears how is that right and it's things like these that will keep us in this 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 racial disparity because we are not normalizing loving each other we are not normalizing accepting each other for who they are i didn't choose to be black i'm sure mr corbing and mr cole didn't choose to be white i'm sure that uh mr vaswani didn't choose to be whatever ethnicity is i'm sure that a lot of these different groups didn't choose who they are but they still own it because that's who they are that's who they were put on this earth to be and i don't think that we should be oppressing anybody based on stuff that they didn't choose to be and i hope you guys see my point and i hope you guys see and understand the, the perspective that i come maybe i could have done this video a little bit better but those are just the the kind of things that i wanted to bring out the fact that um we have subsequently started oppressing other people because we felt oppressed and well not me i don't feel oppressed um but because some people feel oppressed um and 
we need to understand that not every white person is privileged and not every black person is ghetto i live in a middle class family i've never had to struggle a day in my life and i don't see myself as less than anybody at all so why are we sitting here and behaving like this for something that we didn't we don't need to continue to go forward for you know so those are just my thoughts and opinions let me know what you guys think down in the comments you're free to disagree with me you're free to agree with me it's whatever say what you need to say um everybody's free to and, and entitled to their opinion our forefathers white black indian whoever was was there fought for us to be free here today fought for us to be equal and fought for us to be you know have the freedom of speech and the freedom to think so with that being said if you see somebody who is being oppressive to somebody else whether they may be white black or whatever just let them know you know those things aren't right those things are not what we as a society should be going forward to and that is gonna detriment the country in general later on because nobody will want to deal do business with us how many people want to deal business with north korea I mean, maybe the Chinese, the China, China does, but a lot of the rest of the world don't want to deal, do business with them because of how they oppress people. And that is not something that we hear. Our economy is already very fragile. Why should we tarnish that even further by doing stuff like this, by oppressing people, especially the, the major group of persons who come here and do business with us. So with that being said i hope you guys understand my thoughts and my opinions about it um there might be some editing and some different things but those are just a little bit of what i think of what of, of, of what's going on in this country and um next video i think i will be i'll try to see i will come up with some solutions because that's another thing that i i realize that we here in barbies we do we like to complain 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 but nobody comes up with viable solutions that will that are, are even suggestions and how to fix these issues that we have in Barbados. And that is one thing that um, personally I would like to see happen. I would like to see more people coming up with solutions and fixing the issues we have here. So without um, further ado, thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, yeah, love one another, y'all. Peace.